What is up YouTube, I'm Royal, I'm Rank 1 Wild Rift and today we're playing the newest champion, Kindred. Kindred is possibly the strongest and definitely one of the hardest champions in Wild Rift right now. I already have years of experience playing with and against Kindred in PC League of Legends where I played in Challenger. So hopefully in this video I can show you how to go from a beginner to a pro on the newest champion, Kindred. Kindred is actually one of the best champions to main because of how hard the champion is. Once you get really, really good on her, you're gonna completely dominate games. So let's start off with the build. The best build currently, in my opinion, is rushing Berserker Greaves. You could go Glutinous, however, I think Berserker Greaves are the best choice. Into Trinity Force, Bloodthirster, Magnetic Blaster, and then you can choose between Mortal Reminder for tanky teams or Infinity Edge when you're displaying versus Squishies that you can one-shot. Finally, build a Guardian Angel as your last item. Jumping onto the runes, I prefer Kraken Slayer, however, I've seen both Lethal Tempo and Conqueror be pretty good. However, I think that Kraken Slayer gives you a really good early game, which is very important on Kindred, so you can start getting your marks and you can start snowballing. Then you go Brutal, Coupe de Gras, Giant Slayer, and Last Stand are all really good on Kindred, just depending on the situation. If the enemies have a lot of squishies, go Coupe de Gras. If the enemies have a lot of tanks, Giant Slayer, something in between, Last Stand is a great, great choice with your ultimate. Then pick up Legend Alacrity or Legend Tenacity if the enemies have like a lot of CC. Finally, I like going Sudden Impact just to be super aggressive. However, you can go into the Resolve Tree and take Overgrowth, Perseverance, or Bone Plating. However, I feel like because you do dash a lot and the 13 armor pen is quite valuable, Sudden Impact is your best choice. Finally, you're always going to be taking Smite and Flash as your summoner spells. Let's break down Kindred's abilities, starting with the most important ability, the passive. I'm just going to make this simple for you guys. Marks appear in enemy jungle camps or neutral camps. Right now it's on the top skull crab. You can also get marks by marking the enemy using this little mark button. Right now Soraka is marked, so if I kill Soraka or the skull crab or any other camps that appear with marks, I gain attack range, damage and attack speed. His first ability is just a little dash that throws an arrow and does a little bit of damage. His second ability works well with his first ability. You mark an enemy, wolf attacks them, and now your first ability has super low cooldown inside the circle that Wolf has created. Your third ability, you mark an enemy champion, you slow them for one second. And then after you do three attacks on them, it pops and does damage based on missing health. So it's an execute, similar to Garen's ultimate. And your last ability is your ultimate that creates a circle around you and no one can die in this circle. Make sure you use this well because it also protects enemies, not just your teammates. Let's jump straight into the gameplay and we're facing Trindomir in the jungle. This is actually going to be really tricky as Kindred because if I ult first and he still has an ulted, he can wait until my ult runs out and then use his ultimate and then I'm really doomed. So I need to be super careful in this 1v1. What I am noticing is that the enemies have a zig stop lane. So I probably want to look to play around that. Or I guess he, he's Baron lane, which is in the bottom lane right now. I definitely want to play around that so I can get as many marks as possible. Whenever you see a champion that's super easy to gank, or someone that might be slightly trolling in the enemy team, you should definitely capitalize that when you play Kindred to get as many stacks as possible. So definitely start with your second ability first. The wolf does quite a bit of damage to the jungle camps and lets you get an early lead. So I went ahead and marked Morgana as my first target, just to kind of pressure her, because they know that they've been marked, right? So they're gonna play quite a bit safer if they are marked. However, I'm gonna look to switch that to Trinomir eventually for some early fights that we might get into for Skull Crabs. My Riven actually did a good job already getting a solo kill on the enemy Ziggs. I'm kind of misclicking a lot, so my jungle clear is pretty slow. But Kindred, again, does not have the fastest early clear. You want to get your first few stacks on him, and that's when he can really start taking off. Because, of course, a lot of your damage is dependent on those stacks. So we see Trindamir in the top lane, in the dragon lane. I'm going to take my blue buff, and then I'm going to contest this scuttle, which will hopefully have my mark on it. Otherwise, I'm going to run to the other scuttle. Okay, so this scuttle does have my mark. Oh, my Fizz went down. That's really unfortunate because now my Fizz is not going to have Pryo. My top lane doesn't really have Pryo either. Sivir is not here. 
I do still want to fight this just to get the mark. Marks are super important, Kindred. Okay. Maybe we can focus the Trindomir here. I need Karma and Sivir to step up. Oh, they're not stepping up. I'm going to have to flash away. Oh, that is really unfortunate. My team did not want to fight that, I guess. We do end up not getting that mark, which is really, really bad for us. I'm going to go ahead and finish clearing my jungle. And basing. I do want to get my boots as soon as possible. This is a great power spike for Kindred. Especially when you're playing against melee junglers like Trindomir. Because I need to be able to kite him out. I'm never going to win a 1v1 where he's on top of me. I need to be able to kite him out. Okay, so... I see that the mark has now spawned on bottom skull crab and I do have my ultimate. So I'm going to immediately run straight there. Riven should be able to move before Ziggs. So if Trindomir contests, this will probably be a decent fight for us. Okay, perfect. And I'm able to secure this mark. Massive. Okay, Trindomir is here. We can actually just kite him out here. Yeah, we're doing a great job kiting him. Nice, and I do have my ultimate. Okay, he used his. Now I can drop mine. And I'm gonna try to... Oh, he's actually just running away from it. So we're just gonna take him down. Morgana is here, but we does her first ability, so we're fine. Morgana is so useless if you miss your first ability. And Riven is actually gonna clean up and get us another mark. Maybe we can get the Ziggs too. I'm, he's only level 4. I think I can get him and still survive. Boop. And we're out of there. Perfect dive as well, and we just pick up two kills and an assist, and that's two marks. That's massive. So the next mark spawned in the enemy Raptors. I don't know if we want to make our way all the way there, because our bot side jungle is up. So instead of chasing the mark, a lot of the time you have to make these decisions. Do I go for the mark, or do I go for something else? Okay, the mark is gone anyway, but I am going to go for my bot side jungle, just to maximize my gold income, right? While it's important to prioritize marks, it's more important to prioritize farm, so you can get those items. So now I've marked Ziggs as my next target, because he's clearly just running it down. <laughs> so I'm gonna clear my bot side jungle, and then I'm gonna look to invade the enemy and maybe possibly dive Ziggs. So it spawned on Grump, and I kind of saw Trindomir running to it. He was running from the top side, he's running here. So I definitely want to get this Grump. Oh, Ziggs is not letting me get it. That's okay, because I can just get Ziggs instead. My damage is insane. I don't have my ultimate yet, so I need to flash away. I do still want to take this uh, Grump, though. My ultimate is up in five seconds. Oh, he's on top of me already. I need to kite away. Oof, kiting over the wall. And that's the power of Kindred against melee champions. I'm just so easy, it's so easy to kite with your first ability being on such a low cooldown together with your second ability. You just constantly have dashes. And that's what makes Kindred just a lethal invader. And I'm able to get a Skull Crab as well, and now I'm gonna go for the Herald. So what I just did, I marked Trindomir so I can see where he is, and I can see him running to the Herald. Super valuable information for me to have, and that's something you can do by marking enemies. So you mark the enemy and you get the vision of where they're at. Oh, he's actually going in on the Riven. I slowed him with my third ability, so maybe Riven can escape. Oh, okay. So I just need to guide him out. Oh, I should not have used my ulti there. Oh, that was really bad. I should not have used my ulti there. I think I could have just waited out his ultimate and killed him, but I used my ulti instead and saved his life. That was, that was a really bad ultimate usage. I mean, it is what it is. I'm still not too used to Kindred in Wild Rift. So I'll make a few beginner mistakes as well. But this game is off to a great start. We got uh, the Rift Herald too, which again, I always see in my videos, Rift Herald better than Dragon in the... Like the first Dragon will never be better than Rift Herald. And now we're gonna clear our top side jungle and play two Dragon, because we can possibly get both this game since Strindamir went to contest the Herald, but failed. We already have four marks as well. I'm kind of hoping that Mark is going to spawn on the dragon. Oh, Trindomir is here. Good counter gang from us. We can slow down the Trindomir. 
Oh, we're not really getting any help from our team, but we can drop the Herald just to get the maximum amount of platings, because bot and mid turret already have most platings taken down. Oh, maybe I can actually get the turn in the mirror. I'm not sure if he has ulti. There's a mark on him. Oh, I didn't finish him off because I thought he had ulti, but I, I, he didn't use ulti. Oh, and we're not going to finish off the Lulu either. Oh, perfect. The mark just spawned on the red buff, so we're going to take red buff with a mark. And that's five stacks for us. Oh, I definitely should have gotten the Trinamir there. That'll have been six marks already. We're gonna be able to take the Dragon and the Herald, by the way. Oh, Morgana flashed him. Oh, no. I'm gonna try to mark her. Okay, that didn't work in time. I was trying to mark her. Oh, I'm dead. I have my ult coming up in half a second. Okay. Oh, I just don't have enough damage for this. No. I tried to mark the Morgana right before I killed her, but it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Oh, my Fizz is kind of running at this game, low-key. But my Riven is super far ahead, so we should be Gucci to just play around Riven and win this game. And we're already doing super well. We have five marks in seven minutes. We've completed our first item. We're going to build towards blood Bloodthirster next. And now I'm going to go clear my bot side jungle. You can see the bonuses that the marks give. They're so insane. They give... Max health damage and missing health damage like the damage you get from them are insane and you also gain Attack range and attack speed So marks are super important whenever you can get them Obviously, you don't do int for the marks, but definitely make sure that you're getting marks Okay, I can mark the zigs now and directly go for him. He's very overextended. Oh There we go. My damage is insane Trinomir is on me too. I do have my ulti though Okay, I dropped my ulti. Oh, they're actually leaving the circle. Oh, he didn't know what Kindred does. They left the circle. And we're going to clean up Lulu as well. That was really, really good. And we got our sixth mark as well. And there's a mark on blue buff. So that's seven marks. Yeah. People just don't really know what Kindred does. And that's the advantage when you play like newer champions too. People haven't figured them out yet. So I think that's a big advantage that I have coming from like PC League of Legends, right? Is I already know what these newer champions do, how to play them and how to play against them. So I definitely have a pretty big advantage when I play these new champions all the time. Until people figure them out. Until people watch my video and they figure them out. Like Talon was absolutely useless. They did a buff on him. And then people also learned to play him at the same time. And now Talon is like the most broken champion ever. Actually, I think Kindred counters Talon pretty hard. So maybe Kindred will be like the strongest jungler now. The only problem is that Lee Sin counters Kindred really hard. Lee Sin is OP. Okay, let's mark the Lulu and maybe we can do something topside with Fizz. Oh, she flashed away and we got exhausted too. We can still win this. Okay, I got the Lulu. I can drop my ultimate. Oh, I'm just in a 1v3. Maybe I can get the Ziggs too? Okay, not bad. I almost even got the Lucian. That's not bad. We got two of them and we got another mark. That's what's super important. We have eight marks. We are so strong. We're almost averaging a mark per minute. You want to be shooting for around like... By 10 minutes, you want to have at least six to seven marks. Having eight marks is great. So that should be like a small little benchmark for you guys. But again, it all depends on how much... How hard the enemies are inting. And you definitely want to pick Kindred when you have like strong winning lanes, right? When you have a Karma, when you have like a Riven, like I do. A Fizz usually wins lane depending on the matchup. This Fizz just kind of ended, even though Morgana should be an easy matchup. When you have these strong lanes and you're allowed to invade, right? Because you want to gain the enemy jungle and pick up, pick up those marks. Kindred, of course, also works great when the enemy team has like an unconventional pick. Like a Ziggs Baron lane that you can just abuse and farm, uh, farm a few marks as well. But once we get to this point, we're pretty much unstoppable. We should be able to completely 1v9 in the game. Even though there probably won't be a need. So the main issue with Kindred is because he is an ADC, he gets completely destroyed by range, right? So Ziggs, Morgana are kind of countering me by just poking me and I'm not able to gain range to attack them. And these long range mages are always super hard to deal with for Kindred. Kindred wants to kite out bruiser champions like Trindamir. I mean, Trinimir is actually pretty good against Trin against Kindred, so it's not a great example. But champions like, like Renekton, Set, that just get kited forever. I'm just waiting for the dragon to spawn here, so I can secure dragon. Trying to invade 
and get some vision in the enemy jungle. Unfortunately, my pink ward is not up yet. But Riven is actually dragging the entire team to bot side, which is gonna secure us a free dragon. And here comes the mark that just spawned as well. So that's gonna give us our ninth mark of the game. That's really nice. I can base for my item, but I wanna clear my jungle first. By clearing my jungle first before going for the item, my camps will respawn sooner, so I'm gonna have more overall gold. Maybe I can look top actually, because the red buff is spawning right now. He's definitely gonna be on red buff here. I can probably pick him off. There we go. Oh, has his ultimate. I'm gonna drop my ultimate. And maybe I can kill him now. Oh, I just cannot, man. Yeah, it's so hard because he stacks his lethal tempo and he's actually bought the collector. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, he found the ultimate counter. I really thought that I can take him on there, but I should probably time my third ability better so I can execute him right away. That's the main issue. What's really good can really is that you can ultimate and then time your third ability as an execute right as your ultimate finishes. But I didn't really do that this time. So that's kind of my bad. I'm gonna start building towards infinity edge this game because the enemies are quite squishy, honestly. I'll get my stasis and I'm gonna start building towards infinity edge. Okay, Trindemir actually inted, so I'm gonna go straight to Baron. Fizz cannot help, which is unfortunate, but I'm gonna go straight to Baron. And he has a mark as well, it's gonna give us our 10th mark if no one comes. I'm gonna drop a pink ward. There's no wards here and they're all mid lane. Trindemir is not here, so that should be a free Baron. Good little rush. Kindred actually does Baron very fast. Perfect, especially when you have a lot of stacks. Oh, we can chase with the Sivirold. I got the slow on her. Mm, yeah, it's really hard to chase like this, but that's fine. We got, we got her flash. Okay, I'm gonna go clear Grump. My red buff is up, and since no one from my team is really pressuring anything, I'm just gonna run to the red buff. Even though I don't wanna waste time with my Baron, right? When you have Baron, you wanna be pushing lanes. Since no one in my team is pushing up and Fizz has entered again, it only makes sense to go and get the red buff real quick. But now I'm gonna try to pressure bot side. Riven is here too. Ideally, someone needs to go mid. Oh, maybe we can catch out some Morgana. I have my mark on Morgana too. Oh yeah, she's gone. And that's another mark for me. Oh, stasis. Okay, we're kiting, we have our ultimate, and we're just 1v4ing with our ultimate. Oh, I have stasis? I can flash away right away too. Nice, we're just 1v4ing and picking off another mark. We're at 11 marks right now, we're so strong. Riven did go down. That's when I heal on this blue buff. But yeah, while they're all bot side, my team is pressuring top side, and that should be a free inhibitor. Fizz is actually getting mid inhibitor too, probably. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm gonna pressure bot side again with Baron and maybe we can open up their whole base. Oh, Ziggs actually went down to the Karma first ability. Maybe we can end with all these Baroned up minions. Kind of looking for a Nangul on Lucian here. Oh no, I'm not in range. Dodge that. Oh, I can probably just end the game. There's no minions. Okay, I have my ultimate. I'm just gonna drop my ultimate and I'll attack the Nexus. There we go. There we go. Clean W with the Kindred. I hope this video gave you the fundamentals that you need to go from a beginner Kindred player to an expert Kindred player. Let's actually check out the damage dealt and so on. So we did 100% better than Kindreds in the same tier. That's nice. That's good to know. <laughs> Even though it is just Master tier. But we take that, we'll take the MVP as well. I'm really curious on our damage. Let's see it. 43%, 33k damage, not bad, good carry performance. So thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment below if you think Kindred is really strong or really weak.